how does this ancient concept of altars apply to us today in other words how can we as modern believers build godly altars that invite god's presence and power in our lives in our latest blog post i explore the seven key steps or protocols for setting up an altar that god approves step number one identify your need is there an area in your life where you need god to intervene perhaps it's your personal growth your family finances your community and more Step number two, consecrate a space. It doesn't have to be a grand or elaborate structure. Your sacred space could be as simple and small as a corner in your room or a specific chair. This is the sacred space where you intentionally meet with God away from distractions of life. Remember, the Bible tells us that Jesus withdrew to lonely places to build fellowship and intimacy with his Father. Step number three, establish a rhythm. Consistency is the key or the foundation in any relationship. Whether you choose to just spend a few minutes in the morning with God or a weekly schedule of devotion, creating a regular habit of meeting with God continually can transform your spiritual life. Step number four, offer your sacrifice. God doesn't ask for burnt offerings anymore. He calls us to offer spiritual sacrifices, whether it's our time, our habit, our talent. Every small act given from a heart surrendered to God becomes an offering to him. Step number five, tarry with expectations. Like the disciples waited in the upper room with faith. Sometimes the greatest breakthrough come when we don't give up. Paul says, Press forward in prayer and persistence. Don't give up until uh, an answer or a feedback comes through your altar. So are you ready to dive deeper? Head over to our blogsproductmentor.com where we break down all the seven steps and provide in-depth tips on how to awaken a deeper and a more dynamic relationship with God through a godly altar that is set up the right way. Thank you for watching. Share, follow for more Bible Bites and be blessed.